the Islamist group Hamas has freed two American hostages, a mother and a daughter, the first known hostage release in the war between it and Israel. Israel's military spokesperson said Judith and Natalie Rana kidnapped during Hamas's surprise attack on Israel on October 7th, and that they were received on the border by Israeli forces. The International Committee of the Red Cross says it transported them through Gaza. The Hamas attacks in Israel killed 1,400 people. Around 200 were taken as hostages. Hamas says the mother and daughter were released for humanitarian reasons and, quote, to prove to the American people and the world that claims made by Biden and his fascist administration are false. They also say that the hostage release came from negotiations by the government of Qatar. This was U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken. We expect the team from the U.S. Embassy to uh, see them very shortly. Uh, over the coming hours, they'll receive any uh, support and assistance they need. The urgent work to free every single American, to free all other hostages, continues. As does our work to secure the safe passage out of Gaza for the Americans who are trapped there. In this particular instance, uh, I want to thank the government of Qatar for their very important assistance. Meanwhile, Israeli airstrikes continue to pound Gaza now two weeks after the Hamas attacks and have killed over 4,000 people. Hamas has said about 20 of its hostages were previously killed in airstrikes without giving details. It also says a further 50 hostages are being held by other militant groups.